We have a lot of restaurants, but again, there are more restaurants than any other kind of freestanding box out there. So you're going to have restaurants. Um, uh, but we're heavily focused on service-based industries, and we have some manufacturing. About 18% or 17% of our, our exposure is in retail, but that includes car dealerships. That includes uh, uh, furniture stores where people are getting financing. They have to try the sofa. they got to try the bed. They, uh, right. So uh, we're trying to... to make long-term bets, but not big bets. So if you look at our top 10 uh, clients, uh, there's 18% of revenues. We have nobody over 3%. I mean, we are very cautious about how much exposure we take to anyone. How, how does the industry. overall environment look to you right now? You, you obviously, given the businesses that you're in, mm -hmm. must have a pretty decent read on the economy. Uh, and even the small business level. We do, and, and it's getting better. I mean, we, today we have uh, roughly cl closing out on 2,500 properties, and we're getting unit level P&Ls on 98% of them, so we can look and through and see how they're doing. Uh, we're seeing probably what you see. We're seeing that uh, it's hard to push through price increases. We're seeing 1%, 2% same store growth. But what we are seeing is growth at the uh, EBITDA level and the revenue level that's better than 10. And the, and the reason for that is because people are building new locations and they're acquiring. So we're seeing a lot of consolidation in the middle markets with fitness clubs buying other fitness clubs, veterinary clinic guys buying other veterinary clinic guys and the like. So, so there are about 69 million baby boomers uh, alive right now, and they've accumulated a lot of wealth. And a lot of the wealth that they've accumulated is in the value of their small businesses. And a lot of the value in their small businesses is locked mm -hmm. up in things like real estate and property. That must represent a huge opportunity on a secular basis for a company like yours, where the economy will ebb and flow, but there are still people that need to get their capital out, and you still have a solution that is unique and better uh, than many of the other types of solutions they could hunt down if they want to get money out of their business. Would you agree with that statement? Yeah, because there's a, there's, there, there, there's a great way to finance a personal house, but you cannot finance a freestanding piece of commercial real estate on a long-term basis in this country. And so, uh, so we're displacing some uh, debt, but we're also displacing a lot of equity that people have to put into the real estate. And then what we're doing is we're giving them a much more uh, flexible and portable capital stack to be able to run their business. So both these things are designed to make our clients a lot better off. I mean, Joe, you, you own it as well. Yes, I own it, um, and I think we, we own it in some of the funds that we have. You mentioned before restaurants versus manufacturing. Just kind of explain the exposure, because I think if you go back two years, you had a much higher exposure to restaurants. That's right. come down. Now, manufacturing exposure is actually slightly ahead of restaurants. How should I be thinking about that? Well, manufacturing is an entire sector. Restaurants is kind of a, an industry. But, yeah, I mean, uh, the manufacturing stuff has moved up. We'll probably stay in the range of about 15 percent exposure long term to manufacturing. And these are uh, facilities that make everything from molded plastic children's toys to chain link fence to uh, 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 metal fabrication. So very fundamental industries. Uh, the restaurant space we love. Uh, but we're also value investors, and what we find is that we can't get the same kind of deals we were getting before on some of the restaurant space. Uh, there are just a lot of people chasing after the uh, after restaurants. They love them. Chris, we appreciate.